This week in science, we're talking about space, as seen here in glorious fidelity, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. But for now, we're going to focus on objects a lot closer to home. See, as nations and private companies send more and more stuff into low Earth orbit, we're starting to see a problem we've never had to deal with before. A huge chunk from a Chinese rocket whirling around in space uncontrolled is set to crash into Earth sometime this weekend. Where it'll land, nobody knows. Now that story from May of last year does have a happy ending. The debris just landed in the ocean. But most of the rockets being sent into space, including by the U.S., still use stages that are just abandoned and fall back to Earth in uncontrolled re-entries. In 2020, pieces of a rocket body rained down on two villages in the Ivory Coast, causing damage to several buildings. And this week, a paper published in Nature Astronomy concluded there's a 6 to 10 percent chance that one of those abandoned rocket stages will severely hurt or even kill someone within the next decade. Space is really big, and no one imagined that there could be a debris problem. It was a little like, you know, decades ago when we thought the ocean is so big that we can just dump lots of plastic into it and it won't be a problem. Well, all of these these areas, the ocean, space, they're finite, they are limited. And if you put enough junk into them, you'll eventually run into problems. Dr. Michael Byers is one of the authors of that new paper. He's an international law professor at the University of British Columbia. He notes, while there have been no reported cases of someone being harmed by falling space junk, we don't know how many unreported cases there may have been. And just imagine what would happen if space debris happened to hit a commercial airliner or the downtown core of a major city. Luckily, as SpaceX has been demonstrating for years, it is very possible for modern rocket engines to reignite and fall back to Earth in a controlled way. Mandating such a thing would be expensive, since many older rocket designs would have to be replaced or upgraded. But Byers draws this comparison to commercial aviation. When you get on a, a, an Air Canada or a WestJet flight, you, you expect the airline to be maximizing safety not to be compromising on your safety in order to save a few bucks. And the same approach we think should apply to spaceflight, including to unmanned spaceflight that creates risks on the ground. There is another comparison we could draw here. For years, the global shipping industry was able to stymie efforts to mandate double hulls on oil tankers until the 1989 Exxon Valdez spill jolted governments and regulators into action. In other words, might take an unmitigated disaster for the space industry to do the right thing. With This Week in Science, Curtis Doring, City News.